Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Anorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace in sunny Novosibirsk, Russia. Now, I wanted to go out and about and shoot some pictures in town today, but this is horrible light. You can see that it's really contrasty and hard. And so I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. We're gonna make this into a photo challenge. Now the first thing I want to do on today's outing is to use hyperfocal focusing. And I want to do that because I, you know, I've talked about it in a couple of episodes previous to this one, but I just don't think it's getting the press it deserves. Hyperfocal focusing allows you to set your lens in the correct focusing position so that as much as possible is in focus. So if you want more specifics on that, I've included some links in the description of this video so you can watch those to see exactly how to do that. But what I've done here is I've set my 21 millimeter lens to f8 and then I focused it at hyperfocal. So I'm going to get as much depth of field as possible. And this gives me what I call hyperfocal freedom. And that just means that I've converted my fancy camera here to a point and shoot camera. I'm not focusing at all. The camera's going to meter and figure out the correct uh, shutter speed. So I'm really concentrating on looking at the scene, taking a picture, doing some storytelling, focusing on composition, and that is perfect because then I can forget about all of the technical mumbo jumbo and just enjoy the day, look and see what I want to shoot and take a picture of that. Now the second thing I want to do, because we have this really contrasty light, is I want to shoot everything in black and white. Now black and white loves contrast, so hyperfocal, black and white, we're going to walk around the city, we're going to take some pictures of people and things, and it is going to be absolutely wonderful. So let's get going. Part of hyperfocal freedom, that liberty that you get by shooting at hyperfocal, is when you see something, don't really overthink it. Just point your camera at it, take a picture, and then move on. That's the fun of doing this. Now remember, I already know in my mind that I want to shoot these at black and white, and I'm also going to add some grain and make them really gritty. So all that contrast, all that texture, all those bricks, I think it's going to look pretty good, but because this is so easy, we can just shoot all day long. So we're going to shoot some of this, and then we're going to keep going. I'm outside of a musical conservatory and you can hear in the background students playing. It's really a magical place, but it is right next to a bunch of auto repair shops. And so you have this art next to a bunch of old car parts hanging around and it makes a magical place for shooting in black and white at hyperfocal. You get things like this, these buildings with all of this texture and you get uh, lots of stuff on the ground that we can shoot, old doors, we've got these really cool rushing cars. And then as we zip over here, we've got a little bit more modern building. And so it's absolutely, I think I could spend all day just in this little parking lot here. But I'm gonna shoot this wall because I think it's pretty amazing. And then we'll start to wrap things up. Now, as I'm shooting this texture, I'm gonna move around to try to get different compositions. And again, I don't have to worry about focus. I don't have to worry about any of the settings on my camera. I am just shooting for the pure enjoyment of trying to tell a story of this small space. I'm in Lennon Park. This is sort of the central feature of the city. This is almost the geographical center of Russia. It's pretty cool. But what I want to do here is I want to take some really uh, amazing shots of Lennon from down here so I have this view of him way up high. But then because the sun is hitting us this way, if I go around to the other side of Lennon, I'll get a silhouette and we can see that really cool coat coming out. So we're going to do that and then I'll show you the results.
Well, that's all there is to it. Hyperfocal freedom and some black and white processing on a really bright sunny day here in Russia. And I think we got some really cool images. Now, if you want more information specifically on how I did the black and white conversions, I have included the link to that video in the description of this video, so check that out. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you again next time.